year there's new challenges that we have to overcome. So we just want to look forward and try to complete those challenges as best as we can. There's three tasks. There's the aesthetics display, which they develop a theme. Some of the times it's based on where we're at, sometimes it's whatever they want. And then the two technical tasks are catch and release. It's where they will be shooting a beach ball to three different locations in the area in front of the fountain, and that it will have to be caught into a fishing net by one of their teammates, and they get points for successful launches and catches. And the other task is called scrambled eggs because they have a task then of moving eggs around a pathway that has to be elevated at least six foot, have at least four foot of horizontal movement, and then a two foot free fall drop. And they get points for how many times they successfully cycle an egg without it being broken. This water wheel satisfies the scrambled eggs challenge. Um, the eggs are reside in these canisters here and they start at the bottom and so by the time they get up they satisfy the six foot vertical. From either side they go four feet horizontally. The circumference of this plus the two feet of free fall plus two inches of stretch from this mesh here satisfies the 20 feet of overall path and then finally the free fall is satisfied by the egg starting in the bottom here feeding the mesh and then as it revolves powered by water from that pipe from the pump centripetal force actually forces the egg to stay on the outside, leaving it at the top when we reach this edge. And then by gravity, it falls back to the bottom. So we've got at least a foot here and at least a foot there, adding up to two feet of overall. Task one, catch and release. We've rigged up a system here. Um, this is what we're going to be using to propel the beach ball. Um, basically just the nozzle from the main pump. And then coming off either side, we have two yellow buckets, which are going to be used to pull the nozzle in one way or the other, uh, depending on where we need to shoot the ball. Um, we have some PVC piping that is connected up to fill whichever bucket requires filling. So for this year's competition, our theme is Lord of the Rings. We're really excited about um, our aesthetics display with our control systems. So out over here we have a little figure of Golem, which someone will shoot a water-powered bow at to knock off. And through our control systems that will automatically turn on a couple water features and then some red LED lights. And Legolas smite Gollum down as the fires Mount Doom and the volcano erupts in a fiery explosion. Thank you very much for your time. We have basically a uh, beach ball launching arm. Um, you know, that will, once the buckets build up enough pressure, it'll torque a rod and we'll be able to uh, basically launch our beach ball. And pivoting aspect, we have two valves up top. Um, our, our beach ball launching system is essentially on uh, pivot point. Um, so we'll pull a pin and we'll spin our uh, contraption according to, you know, which direction we need. Kansas State University, congratulations. <laughs> University of Nebraska-Lincoln, congratulations. <laughs> Oklahoma State University, I'm really glad that everything worked out and our fountain did what we hoped it would. Our strategy of rapid fire beat the strategy of quality shots. One of the key things that we were, were looking into this year is getting people on board and having them enjoy Fountain Wars this year so that next year they can come back and be a good part of the team. <laughs>